In this video, you will learn more about the Wi-Fi settings on your Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra as we will explain each setting so you'll understand more about their functions and how they work. There are a couple of ways you can access the Wi-Fi settings on your phone and both are easy to do. You can swipe down from the top of the screen to pull down the notification panel, and then tap and hold the Wi-Fi icon until its settings page opens, or you can launch settings, tap connections and then tap Wi-Fi. You will still be brought to the same screen. The switch will allow you to both enable and disable the Wi-Fi service on your device. When it's off, you won't see other options on the screen. But when you tap on the switch, you will see a rotating icon beside it, which signifies that your phone is scanning for nearby Wi-Fi networks. The current network is the Wi-Fi network your phone is currently connected to, regardless whether it has an internet connection or not. To the right, you can see a gear icon and if you tap on it, you will learn more information about your network. As you can see on this page, you'll learn about the network speed. It's not exactly how fast your connection is but how much data your router can transmit per second, and this information changes throughout the day. The security is the kind of security parameter your router uses and the standard is WPA or WPA2. The auto reconnect switch, when enabled, will allow your phone to reconnect to the network when in range provided that the password hasn't changed. If you tap view more, you'll see the IP settings, which is DHCP by default but you can change it to static to give your phone a permanent IP address that's provided by your own router. You'll also have access to proxy settings, which you can set to manual or auto config. Aside from that, you can make your phone treat your network as metered or unmetered, change the MAC address type and view your phone's MAC and IP addresses. Whenever you make changes, make sure to tap save once you're done. Going back to the previous screen, at the bottom part, you'll see the QR code and if you tap on it, your phone will create a QR code that other phones can scan so they can connect to the network without you sharing your password with them. Lastly, you'll see Forget, which disconnects your phone from the network as well as deletes the connection to your router. These are basically the Wi-Fi networks your phone has found during a scan. If they appear on the list, it means that they are currently in range and if you know the password of one of those networks, you can actually connect to it. The Add Network option will allow you to manually enter the SSID of the network you want to connect. This will become useful if you want to connect to a hidden network that you knew about. At the top right port of the screen, you might have noticed a QR code icon. That one is used to scan a QR code and not to make one. So if you tap on it, you'll see that your phone will open the scanner, then you just have to point the camera to the QR code and it will let your S22 Ultra connect to the network. If you tap on the more options icon next to the QR code, you'll see three more options. The first one is Wi-Fi Direct, which will allow your phone to send and receive data from other devices wirelessly, provided that the other device also has the Wi-Fi Direct option enabled. The second option is Advanced, which contains settings that most users don't know about. The first on the list is Sync with Samsung Cloud. It allows your phone to sync with Samsung's online storage from time to time. It's one of the ways to back up your files and data, but this requires your login to your Samsung account. The second on the list is Switch to Mobile Data, which is enabled by default. This makes your phone switch to mobile data if it detects that the Wi-Fi connection is slow or unstable. However, mobile data must be enabled for this to work. Since your phone constantly scans for the stability of the networks it's connected to, this feature uses more battery. So if you don't use mobile data, make sure to disable this feature. The next on the list is turn on Wi-Fi automatically. This will enable the Wi-Fi service automatically when you're in places you use the service frequently. If the switch is grayed out, make sure to enable Wi-Fi scanning in location menu. Another feature you might need to know about is the detect suspicious networks option. When enabled, you will get a notification if your phone detects suspicious activities on the current network. The next option on the list is Show Network Quality Info. This will show you a brief information on the network whether it's fast or slow. You can turn this option off as most of us know exactly how fast our networks are based on our plans. Your phone also has the Wi-Fi Power Saving Mode which reduces battery usage by analyzing traffic patterns. This is disabled by default and we suggest you leave it at that. If you tap on Manage Networks, you can see current network and saved networks. 
You can tap delete at the bottom of the screen to choose which network to delete. The Wi-Fi control history will show you the name of the apps that have turned Wi-Fi on or off recently. If you have a problem like the connection of your phone keeps dropping, you might want to check on this menu and see if there's an app that's messing with your device. The Hotspot 2.0 option will allow your phone to automatically connect to a global network of free Wi-Fi networks using your Samsung account. Lastly, the Install Network Certificates will allow you to do just that. This doesn't concern most of the users, so don't bother yourself with this feature if you don't understand network certificates in the first place. Going back to the Connections page, you'll see that the option Wi-Fi calling is just below Wi-Fi. So if you want to make and receive calls over Wi-Fi, you better enable this feature by tapping on the switch next to it. And if you tap on the option itself, you can actually change the calling preference to either Wi-Fi Preferred and Mobile Network Preferred. Make sure Wi-Fi Preferred has the check. And those are all the Wi-Fi settings on your Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. We hope that we've explained all the settings enough so you could easily understand and remember them. For more tips like this, subscribe to our channel, or click on another video to keep watching. Have a great day!